Hiya, I've actually got a couple of things I've got to do today, so I won't be presenting this episode of Tech Head. But don't worry, I'm going to leave you in a very capable pair of hands. Well, more than hands, I'm actually going to teleport a whole person in for you. So sit back, relax, and log in to the musings of the one, the only... Good luck. Cheers. Hello, my name is Daniel... Actually, I don't need to say that, do I? It's up there. Barry, can we, um... Thanks. So, I'm a technology student in the middle of my degree, and as soon as I found out I was ranting for Richard today, I started racking my hard drives for what annoys me about technology. But there isn't much. I love it, obviously. That's why I'm dedicating three years of my life and six million pounds of my parents' money on a bachelor's degree about it. Actually, there you go, that's what annoys me. Thirty years ago, according to the telly, six million quid would buy you bionically enhanced ex-astronaut Steve Austin with his super strength arms and super speed legs and infrared vision. Actually, with the exchange rate, probably would have got you too. But now, NASA's shutting down the entire Discovery space program because these days, £6 million will barely cover the cost of the cosmonauts' in-flight meals. My dad was always very fond of telling me there's more processing power in a calculator than there was on board Apollo 11. But surely that means we should all be living on Mars by now. Even the most awesome modern calculators still come in at under 100 quid. Most cost under a tenner. And I think I got a pretty decent one in a Christmas cracker at my Auntie Sandra's house last year. So what's the problem? Why don't NASA just get a bunch of Christmas cracker calculators, sticky tape them together in a big rocket, and send that into space? And we're slightly more complicated than that, but you get my point. They'd probably need to use some space sticky tape or something, because the normal stuff wouldn't work in zero gravity. Either that, or they need to find some rich philanthropist to fund another space program. Actually, Richard, why don't you lend him this pod? Seriously, he hardly uses it. Most of the time it's on autopilot. A bit selfish, really, isn't it? He's got this amazing resource and all he does is float around in it, complaining about USB sticks and toasters and sporks and... Oh, someone's changed the settings on my computer. Now I've got to do the angry voice. Yeah, all right, shut up. 